Welcome to the Let's Pray podcast. This is a space where we can spend time together face to face with God as a church family. We will reflect on biblical insights for your daily life. It doesn't matter where you happen to be right now, in your car, on your treadmill, or sitting with your Bible and morning coffee or tea. We believe that there is no distance in prayer. The Bible tells us if even two of us stand together in agreement here on earth concerning anything we ask, our Father in heaven will do it for us. For where two or three come together as his followers, as his children, united in prayer, he is there amongst us. Today, as the church, we choose to gather together corporately in prayer. My name is Amy Carter, and today we are going to be praying together a prayer for keeping healthy boundaries in our lives. Long, long ago, in a place called Eden, man and women lived in a harmony with the world and with God. Every living thing, from the animals to the harvest of the land, had a purpose. Man and woman had a purpose. God created a world with boundaries, and within those boundaries was peace, harmony, and full fellowship with the Creator. Until one day, the man and woman decided to cross the biggest boundary that God had set, and the world was forever changed. From that day on, man's existence has been forever filled with the tension of staying within the boundaries of God. See, God created this world with boundaries, and we as his creation function best when we operate within those boundaries. When we aren't experiencing growth in our lives, the harmony in our relationships, experiencing overwhelming pressures and stress, it's often because we haven't established healthy, God-intended boundaries in our lives. Just like Adam and Eve, we need margins and space in our lives that allows us to take dominion over what God has given us, relate to our loved ones in a healthy way, and most importantly, fellowship with our Creator. It says in Psalms 16, 5 through 8, Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. See, in the scripture, as you read through that and as you listen to those words, first it establishes that God is first and foremost all we need. He is our provider and ensures our life will be provided for. When it talks about the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places, those are really indicating boundary lines, almost as if you can envision like lines of a property, delineating where your space of life is. And God has set those in our lives. He has set boundaries in all of our lives that are established that we might have pleasant places to abide. And it's our job as Christians to discover what those boundaries are. What, what is our place that God has designed for us in life and to function within those boundaries? See, as God helps us to set the boundaries of our life, that is where we find peace. That is where we'll find joy. And that is where our relationships will flourish. So as we get ready to pray right now, we're going to pray in our lives for boundaries. We're going to pray for God to show us maybe where we are a little bit out of focus and maybe where things are out of balance and help us to reestablish those boundaries in our lives. So I want to ask you right now to think for a moment, what are your life priorities? What are the things that are most important for you? As a Christian, it's our relationship with God. Of course, our relationship after that with our spouse or our loved ones, our kids, our family, and then our work life, our calling, our purpose, all of those are part, are part of that too. But we have to prioritize first, what are the most important things in your life? Because that's where you put your time and attention. Ask God to show you as we pray today where he wants to set those boundaries in your life. And remember, boundaries aren't just walls. They're not there to be defensive. They're not there to keep you away from people, but they're actually, they're more like borders. They're your area that God has assigned to you. 
So today, let's pray and join together and ask God to reveal for each of us, myself included, where are the boundaries that we have to reestablish and restore in our lives so that we can experience the fullness of what God has for us. So let's, let's just go before the Lord right now and begin to pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you are a good and gracious God, and that long, long ago when you created this world, when you created us, you created us for a purpose. You predestined us, Father, to do good works, and there are specific things that you would have for each of us to accomplish in our lives. And Lord, you know our limitations, you know our capacity, you know what we can handle. And so, Lord, as we come before you today, we just humbly come before you to ask you, Lord, to show us and to reveal to us what are the things in our lives that are out of balance. Reveal to us, Father, in our hearts. Speak to our hearts right now and show us where are the things that, Father, we have maybe put on a pedestal or maybe we're putting all of our focus on. And that's not what you've called us to do. Help us, Lord, to reestablish the boundaries in our lives the things that you have called us to do and to be stewards of. Father, in our work, help us to find balance. Lord, you called us to be productive and fruitful, and that is important, but not at the expense of our well-being, not at the expense of our relationship with you. So, Father, right now, I ask that you show every person right now that is joining me in prayer, reveal to them, speak to their heart, and show them, Lord, where they need to first and foremost prioritize their time and their life to make space for you that the relationship with you takes priority over everything else, including the idea of work and, and their own agendas. That is not more important than our, our relationship with you, Father. So we put you back in priority in our lives, and we commit, Lord, to put boundaries in our lives that will help us, Father, to be able to grow in fellowship with you, just like you intended in the garden so long ago when you would come down in the cool of the day in fellowship with Adam and Eve. You so long to do that with us. So, Lord, may we reestablish those boundaries that will allow us to be able to fellowship with you. Lord, I pray right now for those that need to reestablish boundaries and relationships, in their marriages, with their kids. Father, I ask that you help families to reestablish boundaries and restore boundaries in their home life so that, Father, first of all, they're growing in you as a family and also connecting with each other. And for those marriages that are fragmented, that are struggling, that are, are not working together right now, those relationships, I thank you that, God, you help them to find balance because, Father, you, you are in the midst of that marriage right now. And whatever the conflict is, whatever the challenges are, I thank you that you, Lord, you want to bring peace and healing and restoration. So reveal to them where they need to reestablish some rules of engagement, reestablish how they relate to each other, reveal that to them as well as with their kids. I thank you, Father, that you are raising up parents who establish boundaries for their children, healthy boundaries that protect their kids and also bring them up in the ways of God. And Lord, I pray for all of those that are in uh, dating, I single brothers and sisters, that Father, you also help them, Lord, to understand the importance of boundaries in dating. God, you said in 2 Corinthians that we're not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And so, Lord, for those that are in the desires of their heart, Lord, may their spirit overreign their heart. As much as we want to have connection and we want to have that romantic relationship with somebody, may it not take precedent over what you've designed. And so if there are people out there right now that are in relationships, dating relationships that are unhealthy, that are not walking in wholeness and in, in purity, then, Lord, I thank you that right now you just speak to their hearts, Father, and help them to have the fortitude to establish the boundaries in their dating relationships that are healthy and to understand that dating relationships are not the same as marriage. And then within the relationships of dating, Father, show them that there are certain things that they are not called to explore or participate in, but there are certain things, Father, that in the boundaries of marriage you have intended. So help them, Father, to see that, to, to reveal that to their hearts and to have the ability to hold off and put things in their proper place within the dating relationship. Thank you, Lord, for just guiding us and showing us all the other areas, Father, of our lives where we need boundaries. 
And Father, where the boundaries are out of control, where things are out of control, where there's stress, where there's anxiety, where there's even sickness, and there are things in our lives and our health, our mental health, where we are feeling attacked and out of control. I thank you that, Lord, as we meditate on your word and as we spend time in your, in your presence, you are bringing health and wellness to us and showing us where we need to put perimeters in place to steward our bodies and our health in the ways that you have called us to. Lord, we thank you, Father, for all of these things. We thank you that God, in, in walking out the Christian life and our relationship with you, that we can take joy in establishing and restoring back to our lives those boundaries and those perimeters, Father, so that we can be focused and we can walk in the fullness of all that you have called us to walk in. We thank you for all these things, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for all these people. And right now, I just pray that the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and may he give you peace today. In Jesus' name, amen.